Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Mm. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? I hope you are feeling absolutely amazing and having a great week. Do you know that today is considered National Safe Day and also Cognac Day? And why is it that I'm thinking about this is because I just had a sniff and this aroma from being in nature and being open to all our senses, not only feeling safe, in the wilderness on a beautiful trail but especially being safe within ourselves so let's delve into it and talk about national safe day which reminds me safety is a such a multifaceted concept that extends beyond the physical protection it includes feeling of safe uh, and secure within ourselves uh, the work that I do, hypnosis, a lot of people uh, think what's going to happen if I go into hypnosis, am I going under hypnosis? So first and foremost, there is no under because hypnosis is a natural state. You go in and out of hypnosis every single day. And yes, when you are watching TV, you get into that zone, right, in that Zen state watching TV and then you go into this beautiful like a cat nap and you're drifting off and then you open your eyes and you, you drift off and you open your eyes and or when you're driving a car from the moment you get in the car you don't think about shifts except putting it in drive and doing everything automatic so a lot of the things we do, a lot of things that you do, your behaviors, your habits, the things you do that is literally automated already, like brushing your teeth, you don't think about it, you do it for a minute. Most people are supposed to do it for two minutes. And do you time yourself? So realizing this is such an automatic thing, getting up in the morning, doing your routines. When you have a routine, you do the same thing over and over, over and over. It's like being in that state of hypnosis. Without thinking, without analyzing, judging, you do the things. And unless something comes and disrupts that moment, you're in that state of being which is hypnosis so i take my clients into that deep state of being within themselves so as we recognize this national safe day i want us to commit nurturing the self and nurturing both aspects of safety within ourselves and outside so do you feel safe within Feeling safe inside out is literally the same thing. A lot of people I know who come to me, they don't feel safe with their partners, right? They don't feel safe within themselves. So let's take a moment and uh, assess this sense of safety. Um, do you feel safe being home alone? Do you feel safe driving in traffic on the freeway? I have a client who came in because she had an accident. Well, it was not really an accident. She was sitting in the car in front of her son's school. She drops him off and she's sitting in the car texting. And then suddenly, because she was parked under a big tree, this tree, for whatever reason, falls on top of the hood and that sound, the big huge sound and the unexpected tremor of the car moving puts her into a shock. Now that shock, it was so bad 
that it cracked the window. So to her, that crack of the window, the sound of that tree uh, branch, the tree breaking off from the root and hitting the hood of the car, it put such a shock that the shock that stays in the muscle, it created rippling effect. She didn't realize it then. Of course, she got out of the car. Then the fire engine comes and the uh, police comes and they have people from the school come to make sure that she's okay. They towed the car. But that fear factor, the panic stayed inside her. So every time she wanted to go and park anywhere, she had to make sure that there are no trees. And that it create that rippling effect that she didn't feel safe under a tree. So do you realize safety is such a fine line as to not only from the outside, but within herself. So she didn't feel safe being in the car by herself. And it was only through hypnosis tapping within the subconscious that we could easily shift the mindset from the core and for her to know that she is safe within herself and that yes accidents do happen which there is a cause and an effect right but it was not there to harm her okay so it's not the intention was not to harm her it was an accident with a cause that the effect stayed within her. Once she realized that we could reverse that, she felt safe enough to drive by herself and she felt safe when she's parking. If there was any tree that she is going to be okay and not every tree is going to fall. Took few sessions, but it sunk in. So what we do is allow the conscious mind to step aside so we can tap within the subconscious where the fear factor started and empower her, that core, that prior to that accident, prior to that incident, prior to that story that I can no longer park under a tree, feel safe enough and validate within herself and accept that she can handle so much more, that she's in total control, and she can drive and park anywhere she wants to because she is safe with herself. She is safe by herself. She is safe in the car. She is safe in the streets. She is safe. Safety is such a primitive and fine line. Most people, who are in a domestic abusive relationships or domestic violence relationship do not feel safe at home, in the bedroom, or within themselves with the partner. So being a DV consultant, I also know how to create safe space, not only in my office, but also within themselves so how whether it's improving your physical environment or keep seeking help to enhance your inner peace remember that feeling safe is your right it is how we are born even feeling safe in your mother's womb right so the emotional healing working through and with hypnosis is by bypassing the subconscious mind and releasing past traumas and reducing anxiety and fostering this emotional resilience within yourself. Also, it helps you build confidence when you feel safe. You can go anywhere by yourself, with yourself, go to restaurants, be in an elevator, go to a movie theater, go 
go to a bar and just be safe with yourself and knowing that all is well. And here is something I can share years and years ago. Hi, how are you? Uh, years ago, I used to go to Palm Springs and like take a weekend by myself. I would drive by myself and same hotel. I would always go to the same hotel, my favorite hotel. And in the evenings, I used to go and explore restaurants every time a different restaurant. So I was giving myself a me time, a vacation time by myself for a one day. I would leave Saturday morning, drive to Palm Springs, get there, check into the hotel and go and lay at the pool. I feel safe. There's all kinds of people who work there and swim, go to the room, rest evening go to a restaurant have my time enjoy a good meal and then i used to go clubbing this is like about many years ago many many years ago and here's what i would do to create a safe space within myself i knew the owner of the restaurant who his brother owned the club so the bartender was his nephew and we had a deal. Tony would call his nephew and say, I've got my guest, Lisa is coming, you take care of her. So I had already created and established a safe space, not only with Tony to the restaurant, the Italian restaurant, some of you may know where I'm talking about, and going to the club with Tony's nephew. And I would get there, I would sit at the corner of the bar, and we had this understanding. I would leave my purse with his nephew under the bar if I needed to. And then if I wanted to dance, I would get up and dance. And if someone was dancing with me, I would be more than happy to dance with just about anyone. And as long as it was a dance. And if I felt there was this, someone is crossing the line that I feel unsafe or uncomfortable not even unsafe but uncomfortable with someone i would say his nephew is my boyfriend so watch it and i would go to the bar and just let him know this person and he would take care of him now that's creating safety having the confidence to know what to do because just like yesterday someone said I'm afraid of being in an elevator because, you know, I went to Burj Khalifa, uh, Khalifa in Dubai and we went to the 154th uh, story looking out and I felt safe. Not once did fear factor of height come into me. But there's others who even getting in an elevator, they feel unsafe. So, feeling unsafe, is it because you're not safe with yourself? You're not feeling safe in a small, confined space? You're not feeling safe because somebody else might be in the elevator or the elevator may break down? So, do you see, I make sure that we literally unravel all parts of what is safe or unsafe for you. Now, if there is a fear factor or anxiety, anxiety is a response to a fear factor. A fear factor is in response to a cause. Everything is a rippling effect. So through my work, we unravel in order for us to understand. Most times, your conscious mind does not know it or ignores or cannot remember why but your subconscious which is the powerful part of you that has stored all the information knows exactly where the cause was and that's the work we do so confidence is feeling secure within yourself plus 
we reduce the stress factors by giving you tools, techniques, and hypnosis promotes the state of relaxation and reduces your stress factor, creating a calm, safe place within yourself, not only mentally, emotionally, but also physically. So in my practice, I provide just safe space in the chair, my office, from the moment you walk in, creating a safe space of knowing that you are safe at all times. There is no judgment. There is no questioning. It's just accepting what is and dealing with what surfaces. So feeling safe is essential. Uh, providing for my clients and knowing that in order for any healing to happen, you must feel safe with yourself to connect to your emotions and express what it is that you feel, what it is that you want. It's like I had a client of mine who came in for smoking and she said, oh, you know, I cannot say how wonderful it is for me not to even think about cigarettes during lunchtime uh, when it's lunchtime and I don't have to go outside and even smoke. I don't even have to think about it. I don't even think about it when I'm in the car. Smoking is no longer a part of my life and I don't know what happened, how it happened, but I thank you. So knowing that power is in your hand, your mind is so powerful. Whatever it has created, it can literally say goodbye to it. And whatever you have said goodbye to it, realizing that you had something to do with it. Hi, Jim E. How are you? <laughs> you know, the fact is, I want to say thank you. Um, thank you to those who, yes, I appreciate when you come in here, when you share something to those who call me, message me, or when they see me, they say, thank you for your messages because I hear it, I listen to it, and I have shared it with so many. And I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who refer the clients to us. And I am humbled and grateful to that. You know, it's not always being tapped on the shoulder, but every single uh, referral is a testimonial to the work that I do, making an impact in your life. So in closing, I want to say, being safe is your right. And you no longer need to walk on eggshells in order for you to make an impact or say that they matter. I want you to know that you too matter. You matter, your life matters, your safety matters, and it starts with you. You deserve as much happiness as others. And it's not about sacrifices that you have to make because sometimes we have to know certain things are our duty, certain things are tasks, and other things is because it is your right. And I know the person who needs to hear this is getting it. You deserve as much to be loved and appreciated and accepted as you give so much to others. My name is Lisa Bubari. And I am here for you. And until next week, 
May the universal light surround you at all times so you feel safe no matter where you are. Starting from this moment, accept and appreciate yourself. Do this pledge of accepting and appreciating who you are and knowing that you do matter. And every day in every way, you get better and better. Not as good as tomorrow, but better than yesterday. And today is the beginning to say yes to you. God bless you and may the universal light surround you always. You are safe today, no matter where you are. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here.